Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Disabled Reality. I'm your host, Anthony Labrito Duke, and we have a great topic for today's show in which it is procrastination and also rushing things are both wrong to do. So let's get right into this topic. Um, you know, when people just uh, constantly say to everything, I'll do tomorrow, 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 another day, tomorrow, tomorrow. That's just wrong to do. Okay? Constantly doing that creates a lot of problems. Okay? And then also, on the flip side of the coin, when you got people going, you got to do it right now, right now, fast, hurry up, now, 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 now. That's also wrong to do. Okay? Um, procrastinating everything and then, you know, like um, when people normally procrastinate everything, they wait till like the last second to do it. And then they want, at the last second, they want everybody to rush, 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 jump fast now. I, we got to do this at the last second now. That's completely wrong to do to people. Completely wrong. Or, on the other hand, then you got uh, people who want everything done as of yesterday type of fast. Yeah, you know, rush, 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 jump, jump, fast, now, me, me, me. That's wrong to do. Completely wrong. Really. Or you got, you know, when you get people who, um, who, who, who just want everybody to jump at the flip of a switch, you know, really, that's wrong to treat people like that. You got to do everything now, right now, this second, now. Stop everything that you're doing right now, this second. And pay attention to me, 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 me. That's definitely wrong to treat people like that. Definitely wrong. No doubt. So, but, uh, you know, there are these people out there who think that doing these things and acting like this is a funny joke. Uh, they think that they can just, uh, that uh, they can get away with doing it. And they think that it's okay for them to do it to people. But let me tell you something. If anybody did that back to them, whoa, whoa, they get pissed off, pissed off. But then they conveniently forget when they did that to people. And it, that's just not right. You don't like it done back to you. But you think it's a funny joke when when uh, when you do it. That's not right. Not right at all. So um, treat people in life how you want to be treated. And also, you know, procrastinating things or rushing things, uh, like I said, are both wrong. But they're also both unprofessional, very unprofessional. And people who procrastinate things all the time or who rush things all the time, they never become a success in life. Never. Why is that? Because they'll piss off everybody. Everybody who works for them, their customers, their bosses, whatever. They'll piss off everybody. Nobody will have anything to do with them. Seriously. And that's why they'll never become a success in life. And where does this all start? Really, it all starts at home. When you get trained to not procrastinate everything all the time or not to rush everything all the time, when you get yourself on putting things on a set schedule, 
That's what helps to make you become a success in life. Schedule every teeny tiny little thing, you know, basically. Once in a while, once in a blue moon, you know, uh, um, do things uh, unscheduled, you know, that's fine. Like if, uh, like if, I'll give you a perfect example. Like if a one night or whatever, if you just want to say, hey, you know what? Let's go out and see a movie. Fine. Once in a blue moon to break the monotony of things? Fine. Again, that's once in a blue moon. But for the majority part of life as an adult, you got to schedule everything. You can't just be this lazy back. Uh, I'll do whatever I feel like. It. But now on the flip side of the coin, you can't be a stuck up type of person either. Seriously, so um, it, it, you got to take all these things into consideration. And yes, yes, a part of life is that at times, things do happen. Yes, that is a part of life. But that's not an everyday type of thing. Okay? That's, again, what's considered a once-in-a-blue-moon type of thing. You got to get yourself structured. You got to set boundaries. You got to set schedules. You got to have rules and regulations in place. Part of being an adult is part of life. But there are just many people who love to just procrastinate everything or rush everything. And both are wrong to do. So, um, but it's just amazing to see that still to this day, you see many, uh, many people and in many businesses too that they want to either procrastinate everything or rush everything. You know, seriously, and that's they're not going to become a success. They're going to be a flop. They're going to be a flop. And there's really nobody else to blame but themselves. So, but anyways... I want to remind all uh, remind all my fans out there about my business, my website, which is Advocate Information Highway, and the link to there is awldny.com, and you guys could check out all the pages on there, and on the store page of the website, again, there's a lot of stuff on there. You guys can shop to your heart's content. The holidays are here. There's uh, great gift ideas, and there are... Uh, some new items that I have placed on there that uh, that I have made. Uh, some of the new items that I just made are uh, bangle bracelets with uh, heart-shaped charms on them. And the heart-shaped charms do vary to whatever I have in stock. But these bangle bracelets are in, uh, uh, some are in silver, some are in gold. And you get to choose. Some people like Silver, some people like gold. So there's a little bit for everybody. And also, the other new item that I that I made are clip-on dangling earrings with uh, birdstone charms on them. And these uh, clip-on earrings, some are in gold and some are in silver. You get to pick which one you want because, again, some people like silver, some people like gold. But people have also asked me, why make clip-on earrings? Why not just do regular dangling earrings on the hooks or just uh, keep selling the uh, stud earrings? I says, because, number one, it's about variety. Okay, you give people choices. And number two, there are many people out there who have uh, serious medical conditions, like let's say diabetes, 
and they cannot afford to bleed because, you know, when you get your ear pierced, they do bleed. And so these things, these clip-on earrings help people who have, like, serious illnesses um, to still be able to wear jewelry and to still look beautiful. And because when, when you have... Um, when you look good on the outside, it helps you feel good on the inside. And everybody deserves that opportunity. Okay? Everybody deserves to look beautiful on the outside and feel good on the inside. And um, so this helps people in many ways as well, you know, who, who, who can't afford to bleed because of their illness. And they still want to wear jewelry and, you know, like dangling earrings or whatever. So this helps them. And uh, to help them, live, uh, help them make themselves look beautiful and stuff. So this is uh, this is really good things um, to have. So then they usually go, oh, that's a good reason. That makes sense. And people like these jewelries. And, you know, a lot of times with the... Um, with the stud earrings, a lot of people at times can't get the, the backing on. Some people struggle with that. Um, you know, with the hook earrings, sometimes like when people, um, the hook doesn't go all the way through or they, or, or whatever the case may be. So there's a variety of things here and people get to choose. So there is something for everybody. And so that's the new items that I've made. But now there's also new items that my husband made. That's also on the store page of my website. So again, you guys can shop to your heart's content. There's a lot of stuff on there. There's a lot of great gift ideas on there. And after I'm done hosting this episode of this show, I will host another episode of my show, Advocate Information Highway, on YouTube. And so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.